How to reduce largest contentful pain, or LCP. User experience is a key factor in determining the success of your website when it comes to SEO. There are many metrics to consider when assessing UX, one of which is largest contentful pain, otherwise known as LCP. In this video, we'll delve into what LCP is, how it affects your website, and how to reduce LCP for optimal website performance. What is LCP? Largest Contentful Paint measures the time it takes for a website to show a user the largest element on the screen, complete and ready for interaction. This metric specifically considers above the fold content, meaning everything that appears on the page immediately after loading without any scrolling. This could be an image, video or block level element. Why is LCP important? LCP directly relates to the largest and therefore usually most important part of your web page. As such, LCP is a useful metric to help measure both user experience and how fast your website loads. Additionally, LCP is one of Google's core web vitals, a set of search signals they use for measuring page experience and ranking websites in their search results. From Google's perspective, a positive LCP score of 2.5 seconds or less is good. If your website score sits in the 2.5 to 4 second range, it's considered in need of improvement, while anything over four seconds is considered poor. Effects of a poor LCP score. A poor LCP score has multiple negative effects on your website. Slow loading times and lagging interactions caused by high LCP times can lead to higher bounce rates and decreased engagement from visitors. This in turn may result in fewer sales, signups or leads. SEO is also affected by LCP as a slow website is less likely to rank in search results and may even be crawled less frequently by Google. How to measure LCP. As with all core web vitals, the best way to measure your results is with either Lighthouse or Google PageSpeed Insights. Both these tools will provide you with a top level score and information on potential improvements you can make. Lighthouse runs with dev tools on your browser whilst PageSpeed Insights provides a more real world score that other visitors may experience. How to reduce LCP. If you run an LCP test and receive a score of higher than 2.5 seconds, then there's work to do. Especially if you want to avoid the negative consequences for both UX and SEO aspects of your website. Here are some practical steps that you can take to reduce LCP. Improve your web hosting. A lot of your page loading time relies on the server your files are stored on and the speed at which those files can be delivered. Opt for a reliable hosting provider like 20i with fast server response times and high levels of uptime to ensure consistent performance. Use a CDN. Content delivery networks distribute your content across multiple server nodes worldwide, reducing response times and accelerating content delivery. This is particularly important if you have a lot of international visitors to your website. All the websites that we host at 20i have free access to CDN nodes across six continents for localized delivery and maximum speed wherever traffic comes from. Good image practices. Images can become one of the biggest speed drains on a website. To ensure your LCP is as strong as possible, treat images carefully when uploading them. Tips include properly size images, ensure images fit their display dimensions, in turn reducing unnecessary rendering delays. Compress images, use tools such as TinyPNG to reduce image file size as much as possible without visible quality loss. Choose web-friendly image formats. WebP is best for speeds but can sometimes lose quality. SVG, JPEG and PNG are also good choices when compressed properly. Use lazy loading. Implement lazy loading for images and other non-essential resources to prioritize loading critical content first. This means less important content only loads when required and your largest content has the priority to load faster. Implement caching. Utilize browser caching, server-side caching, or CDN caching to store static resources like images, CSS, and JavaScript files. Caching reduces the need for a server to fetch these resources repeatedly, resulting in faster load times an improved LCP. Minify code. Minimize HTML, CSS, and JavaScript file sizes by removing unnecessary characters and spaces from code. The smaller your DOM size and the fewer elements that your page must load, the faster things will be. Cut down on render blocking resources. Large render blocking elements can significantly slow down your website and leave your largest, most important elements waiting in a queue to load. Analyze your website's code to identify render blocking JavaScript and CSS files. Optimize their placement or use async and defer attributes to make sure they don't hinder content loading and improve LCP. Tools such as Lighthouse will help you to identify any render blocking resources. Compress text. Utilize gzip or other compression methods for text-based resources like CSS files, JavaScript files, and HTML documents. Compressed files load faster, positively impacting LCP. 
final thoughts. As with many areas of website management, the key to ensuring a good LCP score is to implement a routine of best practices and always keep your users in mind when uploading new content. Prioritizing a fast loading website improves user experience, increases engagement, and ultimately drives the success of your platform.